Introduced at the start of 2372, less than two years before the outbreak of the Dominion War, the Klingon Negvar-class heavy battlecruiser was designed to be the largest and most powerful warship available to the Imperial Klingon Defence Force, and to serve as the personal flagship of the Klingon High Chancellor. 682 metres in length, with a dry weight of over 4 million metric tonnes, the Negvar's frame was designed by the famous Kurak, daughter of Heleka, and was intended as a major departure from from the lighter and more agile battlecruisers traditionally employed by the Klingon fleet. A Negvar typically carries a crew of 2,500, with space for a further 2,700 warriors during assault or boarding operations. The ruthless efficiency of Klingon assault troops makes boarding attacks one of the Negvar's most effective tactical options. Trained to fight with knives and batlefts, as well as disruptors, these warriors can continue fighting even if their weapons are disabled by magnetic fields, and when deployed in the hundreds, from aboard a Negvar-class vessel, they can seize control of even the largest ships and stations. The Negvar carries an enormous arsenal of weapons, boasting 20 disruptor banks, each capable of firing in both beams and pulses, four torpedo launchers, and a high-yield disruptor mounted at the vessel's bow. The warship can also carry a pair of super-heavy disruptor cannons fixed to its ventral hull, but these weapons are inaccurate and largely specialised for siege assignments, leading most ships of the class to be deployed without these weapons weapons, thereby decreasing the vessel's mass and drastically lowering its power consumption. Like most Klingon warships, the Negvar class carries a cloaking device for use in covert operations. The device provides a huge strategic advantage when mobilising Klingon fleets, allowing the Empire to deploy its warships behind enemy lines, or establish staging grounds near hostile strongholds. It should be noted, however, that Klingon cloaking devices like that of the Negvar are not as sophisticated as modern Romulan cloaks, and with the proper application of tachyon detection grids and sensor platforms, a fortified area can be equipped to prevent the passage of cloaked Klingon starships. The original IKS Negvar was actually intended as more of a symbol of prestige for High Chancellor Gowron than as a practical military vessel. The prototype's construction was rushed and featured superfluous experimental systems that created serious power drains to the cloaking device, leading many to believe that the Negvar would be the only vessel of its class. After Gowron's death, however, However, many of the design's unnecessary systems were removed, and though High Chancellor Martok preferred to maintain his flag aboard the Brel-class IKS Rotaran, the Negvar began to see more widespread construction across the Empire. The construction of a Negvar-class vessel was an extremely time-consuming and costly endeavour, and as a result, the Imperial Klingon Defence Forces commissioned only a small number of the ships each year. Several of the vessels were appointed as command ships for important sectors or vast battle fleets, and though most most Klingon captains still preferred the speed and adaptability of smaller attack cruisers and birds of prey. It became widely accepted that the addition of these larger vessels had greatly strengthened the Klingon fleet. The Negvar class remained a crucial part of the Klingon war machine well into the 25th century, undergoing numerous refits and improvements to keep pace with modern technology. And though the vessel eventually lost its title as the largest warship in the Imperial fleet, it continued to serve as one of the most potent symbols of the on Empire's military might. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.